Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel, Seth here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your video game footage onto an HD capture card. Yes, I know, everybody already knows how to do that. But here's the kicker, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record HD game footage all while playing your retro console on a CRT TV. Now, as far as I know, this hasn't been done before, at least not on YouTube, a proper how-to of how to do this. So, for those that want to retain that retro feel while playing your classic video games, uh, while you're recording game footage for a review or let's play or whatever the case may be, I'm going to be showing you guys how to be able to play on the CRT television so that way you can still play it the way you like to while you're recording your HD footage for your video. So let's get into it. Here we go. In order to record HD video game footage all while playing on a CRT TV, you're gonna need all these cords. I know it looks like a mess, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So here's everything that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a CRT TV, obviously, a retro video game console, of course, to play. You're also gonna need a capture card device. Personally, I use an Elgato. You're gonna need two HDMI cables, count them, two. You're also gonna need two auxiliary or RCA cables. And then you're gonna need an auxiliary to HDMI converter. And then you're also gonna need an HDMI to auxiliary converter. And then of course you're also gonna need some USB cables to be able to power your converters as well as your capture device. And that'll be it. So it's a lot of items, of course. It's gonna cost you, uh, you know, a few bucks, but oh yeah, you need a smiley face as well. Now, I know this all probably sounds really confusing right now because there's a lot of stuff that you need. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it and tell you why you need all this stuff and how it'll all work. So what you're gonna do is take your video game console and take the auxiliary cable, plug it in, obviously, and then you're gonna plug the red, white, and yellow into your auxiliary to HDMI converter, and then on the other end is going to be an HDMI cord plugged into your capture card device. In this case, I use an Elgato. And then you're gonna take the other end, which is an HDMI cord, plug that into your HDMI to auxiliary converter, and then you're gonna take your auxiliary cord, plug it into your TV. So it goes full circle. It starts with a video game console with an auxiliary cable, runs through to HDMI to the capture card, and then HDMI back into auxiliary so it can plug into your TV. And then of course your capture card is plugged into your computer with a USB cable, and your converters are also powered by USB cables. Does that make sense? Are you following? Hopefully you guys are following. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, if you guys sort of understand how this is going to work, and maybe you're still a little confused, don't worry, I'm going to actually plug everything in for you and show you step by step how this is all done. So first things first, plug your auxiliary cords into your video game console. In this case, I'm using an NES. Then you're gonna take your auxiliary to HDMI converter, this is what it'll look like, and you're gonna plug the auxiliary cord into the input and the HDMI cord into the output. And again, this is powered by USB. Oh, and by the way, make sure you have plenty of plug-in spots. Next, you're gonna grab your HD capture card device. And again, in this case, I'm using an Elgato. You're gonna take it and plug it into your computer via USB. And at this point, you should get some sort of indication that it's powered on. So now what you're gonna do is take the HDMI cable that's plugged into your auxiliary to HDMI converter and plug the other end into your capture card device. Now you're gonna take your second HDMI cable and plug it into the output of your capture card device. And then you're gonna grab your HDMI to auxiliary converter. Hopefully at this point, you're starting to understand. You do the exact same thing now, but in reverse. Go ahead at this point and plug in your second converter into the wall with another USB cable, and then you're going to take the other end of your second HDMI cable and plug it into the input of your HDMI to AV or RCA converter, 
Now you're going to take your second set of RCA cables and plug one end into the output of this second converter here, your HDMI to AV converter, and then plug the other end finally into the back of your CRT TV set. And this is probably what it's going to look like once you're finished. I know it's a giant mess, but hey, it works. Now as a quick recap here, your video game console is running from RCA into HDMI and then back into RCA and then into your TV. And then of course the capture device is plugged into the computer with USB. And here is everything turned on and plugged in. I'm using the Donkey Kong Classics car as an example here. And there's all your cords, everything plugged in. And this is my Elgato software, and I'm actually going to press record here so I can prove it to you guys uh, how good the quality looks while playing on a CRT TV once you have everything plugged in here. Now I'm going to put it side by side so you can see it's all synced up, and this is the same footage that is being played off of the CRT TV. So here is Donkey Kong Jr. right next to it there. And yeah, there you have it. That is how you record your HD footage all while playing on a CRT TV. Now, I know that it was a bit confusing possibly and uh, it was quite a lot of information, but Unfortunately, this is the only way that I know how to do it properly uh, to actually play it without having to emulate or play on a, you know, an LCD TV. This is how I usually do it for when I record video game footage for my reviews. So that way I can still play on my old TV and not have to emulate or play using a different console like a, an HDMI console or play on an LCD TV. So that way I can play everything authentic, original, and still be able to record HD quality video game footage. So if you guys want to do it, that's how it's done. And hopefully you guys learned something today and hopefully it was a good video. And if it was, consider sharing this video around and I will see you all on the next video. Thank you for watching.